Hey guys, Figuru HD here, bringing you another Call of Duty commentary. This time it's on Call of Duty 5 World at War. And basically in this gameplay I'm going to be showing you a mix of quick scoping and hard scoping. Um, I like to combine this in me, um, like in how I play because I feel that when using the sniper bit it'll bring the best results. Because if you can quick scope then obviously you need to use it in the best situations, not like when you see them cross map, go for no scopes all the time. But I have been doing that recently because I am recording for a World at War mini charge, which I still need an editor for. Um, anybody wanna offer me a, offer me their services for free? <laughs> um, as you've probably noticed, I'm using the Car 98K with a scope. Uh, my secondary is like the Wolfer or something, I don't know, it's just a little pistol. Um, i just like to say I do not have modder controller for any of those who would suggest it. There's probably going to be some, there's probably going to be something like, you say what, that's not even fast, but just just to clear things up, I do not have a modder controller, and I can fire the M1A1 carbine much faster than that little pistol, which I did a minute ago. Um, basically, for the rest of the country, I'm going to be talking about my playstyle and what I have coming up and I tell you guys what I plan to do. So basically in this um, game I wanted to go for a flawless which I get. I'd like to say my final score is 23 and 0. I, get, I do get a couple of assists my dog. My dogs don't actually do that well, so you do have to worry about me get sitting up here getting no kills at all, so don't worry about that. Um, and obviously when you're going for a flawless and team deathmatch ground war, especially on this map as it's reasonably small, you don't want to be rolling around because people are going to be coming up behind you. And uh, it's probably not the best idea to run around, especially with a sniper in ground war in the first place a bit more defensively, but I do like to think of myself as an offensive sniper most of the time, especially in Modern Warfare 2, as I have recently finished recording for my latest montage, which um, hopefully my editor will have done soon, I'm not sure, but I did send him a lot of footage, so he's going to have to go through that. So check out my channel if you want to see that um, in the next few weeks, maybe, I don't know how long it's going to take him. So... What I'd usually do is play more aggressively than this and go for clips, but once I realised that I got on a 10 kill streak, I felt that it'd be much better to use it for a commentary and give it to you guys. I'd just like to say that I won't do very many commentaries on my channel for you um, like this, but um, I will do some every so often. Uh, I don't plan on doing many, maybe a couple du dual comms with a couple of clan members. Um, maybe some more of other YouTubers, I don't know, I haven't planned anything like that yet. Just the little montages. Um, I'm enjoying World of War uh, an extreme amount. Uh, it's much more fun than Modern Warfare 2. I mean, there was the MP40 and there was Juggernaut and there was Second Chance, but if you're accurate then you can aim up headshots and kill them in one. They won't go on Second Chance and Juggernaut is nothing against. Um, headshots, obviously. <laughs> um, I have run into a few lobbies where everybody's using the MP40, Juggernaut, Martyrdom, but the um, simple thing is there is just to leave. <laughs> and obviously, leaving relieves stress. And once you get stressed from Rage Quit, I'd suggest that you like just watch TV for a little bit, maybe some Teletubbies, <laughs> if you're into that sort of stuff. Um, just need to calm down, don't let the rage get you too down, don't let the game get you too stressed, especially if you're recording, you don't want to um, be recording shit, because you're rage, you just run into the same place over and over again, getting really annoyed at campers, uh, triple spray fail there. I get especially annoyed at campers and uh, survivors challenge there, that's like five minutes without dying or something. I, think. Um, I get especially annoyed with campers who hardscope, mainly because I've been recording from a montage and I do not hardscope. 
a lot. Go for no scopes and shit or like that. Um, last thing I like to talk about is YouTube and Call of Duty. Um, LGU is a great place where anybody can post their videos, especially the new standard definition channel, which hopefully will become as popular as the first channel. Um, I think it'll be a lot easier for LGU to moderate it then because um, they can split the moderators' um, duties between the two and no, split the moderators between the two. So Fist and Gumby in HD and then the others in SD or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but obviously they can't do everything and YouTubers can't be expected to bring out the best stuff in the world. Well, that was a fail just then. I'm sorry. Obviously, that proves my point. I can't. I can't nobody can bring out the ultimate in viewing entertainment. Um, obviously, people will try to do their best too, and that's a good thing. It's good stuff for you to watch. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this commentary wasn't too boring, and make sure to check out my channel.